I sadly, and with her heart broken over what this means to our country, of a president who would incite insurrection, will in sign the engrossment of the article of impeachment. And the House historically impeached President Trump for a second time. Democrats and some Republicans argued his actions last Wednesday and his words led to the violent attack on the Capitol. Joining me now to discuss everything that's unfolded is Abdul Hakeem Shabazz, editor of Indie Politics. Abdul, good morning. What a week. Uh, yes, and it's only what the 14th day of 2021. Uh, yeah, and we thought maybe this year would be a little different. Um, let's get into it. Ten Republicans voted with Democrats to impeach President Trump. All other Republicans, including all from Indiana, voted against impeachment. Are you surprised that 10 Republicans voted to impeach? Did you think it would be more? Um, it tends about right uh, because you have a lot of Republicans who uh, had a problem with the process. Uh, not so much a problem with impeachment, but they wanted more hearings, more witnesses, the whole nine yards. Other Republicans are just either uh, totally completely in the Trump camp, then you have the other uh, third or so who are just scared of, the, who are just scared of their base. So uh, 10 uh, is a low number, but it's still enough to be a bipartisan impeachment. Uh, Mitch McConnell says the Senate trial will happen after President-elect Joe Biden is inaugurated. He is not calling the Senate back early. What does an impeachment trial look like for a former president when you've got a new administration in then? That's, gonna be, that's something I'm not sure about because we're now completely in uncharted territory. First of all, we have a president who's been impeached twice, which has never happened before. Uh, the president will be leaving office uh, literally in like five days and some change. And then you have another party uh, taking over as well. So we've got all these different things sort of in play. Like you said, right, we also have a new administration as well uh, that not, so, not necessarily they don't want to see Donald Trump impeached, but they have their own agenda mm -hmm. in that first 100 days as well. They would rather not be sharing the headlines on, on a daily basis. So uh, unfortunately, I can't really answer that question because we just don't know. It's one of so many things that we'll just have to see. Um, what is needed to convict President Trump and do you think it would happen? Uh, you need two thirds of the Senate vote to convict uh, the president, uh, which means you would need 17 Republicans. And that number, I don't think they have right now. No, no, I take that back. It was a secret ballot. I think it would be 90 mm -hmm. to 10, to be brutally honest with you. But it's not. It's it's an open vote. Interesting. And because it's an open vote, that changes the dynamics of everything. Once again, you have the, the folks worried about primaries and the, and the whole nine yards. So uh, Mitch McConnell has uh, sort of cleared that path a little bit. Uh, by some reports in the New York Times saying he is, you know, kind of happy with impeachment, but they sort of walk that back a little mm -hmm. bit. But, but we'll have to see. But you need basically 17 uh, Republican votes, and I don't think they have them yet. Interesting. You talked about the open vote. Um, I want to get your thoughts on President Trump's response now to the riots. He's repeatedly called for no violence, but that's really a stark contrast to the words he said just eight days ago. Yes. Uh, once again, uh, the, the president responds too little too late is like oops my bad and he wants to sort of backtrack what he said and he's backtracking it more likely for criminal reasons than impeachment reasons or and civil reasons because he doesn't want to be held liable once he leaves office for any sort of criminal acts have been done or civilly liable for anyone who's harmed or hurt so that's why he's kind of basically uh, making these statements right now i mean the the, the script that, that he's read a couple of times yeah. Uh, you can tell he, he didn't have any input in it. He just kind of got up there, mm -hmm. read it, and then went back and, and sat down. And at times he even walked back the script after the fact. Yes. So, bit. so like I said, when I when I hear the president, you know, read these scripts and read these statements, I, I just take it with a big giant uh, high blood pressure grain of salt. <laughs> Abdul Hakeem Shabazz. On that note, relax it down. We've got a lot more to get to. Hopefully, we'll be talking with you again in the coming weeks. Not a problem. Thank you. Thank you.